$26,000. Oh, my brain just hurts. Okay, so guess what today is? It is January 15th, but more importantly, today is the day that I am going to be paying off my car loan in full. I'm done with car payments. I absolutely hate car payments and I am so, so, so excited to make this final payment and just be done, done, done. Just quick backstory, back in 2017, I got into a really bad car accident on the highway, not through any fault of my own. Some people just, anyways, I'll leave that be. At the time of that vehicle being totaled, it was kind of like a blessing and a curse. That car was already on its way out, like the engine was starting to fail me and there was little problems that were just like picking up here and there. So thankfully at the time I did have obviously insurance for my car and they were able to provide me with another vehicle in the meantime while we were figuring out if my car was going to be written off, like if it was actually totaled or if it was repairable. Now, I do not believe in monthly payments for things. If possible, try to pay everything in full for a year or I will just accumulate money into an account and I'll leave it in an account as a sinking fund. I cannot stand monthly payments for the life of me. The two previous vehicles that I purchased in the past were both paid off in full. The first vehicle that I bought was a 2003 Dodge Neon and I think I paid about 3,500 for it. And then I bought the 2010 Nissan Sentra and that's the one that I got into the accident with. And so when that car was written off, the insurance company wrote me a check after i had been riding in the rental for about two weeks or so they basically said here's your check you have five days to find another vehicle and return the rental vehicle basically that we gave you normally if i was not working and not going to school in another city and didn't have a child that needed to go to all these different activities I would be completely fine with not having a vehicle, but that was not an option. I didn't really have a lot of money at the time to like keep doing daily rentals and looking back at it now I kind of wish that I did, not I kind of wish, I definitely do wish that I spent a lot more time researching vehicles and looking for a vehicle because I ended up purchasing my exact same vehicle, just the newer model seven years later. And so I bought the 2017 Sentra that not only was I basically riding in for the past two weeks because that was the rental vehicle that they gave me. And I kind of just said, well, it works. It's the newer version of my old car that was totaled. Might as well just buy it. I passed on that $7,000 into the dealership as the down payment for my car. So right off the bat, the 7,152 was taken off because that was the check from the insurance company and then that left me with a $19,079.92 car loan remaining to be paid off over a 60 month period five years terrible the moment I drove it off the lot panic in my brain like immediate buyer's remorse immediately wanted to turn around and bring it back to the dealership. I didn't want this car, but it was a nice car. It was a stable car. It was new. So there'd be no problems with engine. There'd be no problems with safety issues. The big thing that was making me panic was just the instability of my income at the time. Budgets were already tight and taking on a whole nother debt was just bringing me a lot of anxiety. And I know the moment I drove off the lot immediately lost a bunch of money value depreciated within 30 seconds of me leaving the dealership. With Nissan, the way that this account was set up for whatever reason, I was not able to make additional payments towards the principal amount. So you either made your monthly payments or pay the vehicle off in full. There was no option ever at any point to pay additional on the principal for my car. I've always just paid the minimum amount, the 318, and that was always auto withdrawal on the 26th of every month. Honestly, just wanna pay this car off and never have to think about it again. I'm, I'm, I'm done. And I don't even like this car. I don't, I don't know if I've said that at any point during this video. This is not my favorite car at all. I don't like the fact that I have in total paid $26,000 for a vehicle that not only do I not like, I don't really fit into the vehicle just because of my height. I just don't care for this car. With that being said, I haven't had any issues with this car. Safety wise, gas has been really great for the car. Like really, really good. $26,000, oh, my brain just hurts. Like I, that could have went to so many different things so many different things. And I could have bought a reliable car for a lot cheaper of a price had I just shopped around a little bit more and asked the appropriate questions that I needed to. Hindsight is 2020 though. I didn't know what I didn't know and we are here now. So I have been paying off this vehicle and keeping track of the payments every single month since May 26, 2017. That is when the first payment came out of my bank account. All the way to 
oh actually june 26 2020 so last year on my birthday i discovered for the first time that my interest was not 0% like I thought at 0.01%. Again, this is just to do with me not fully paying attention to what was going on. And so I found out I had accumulated at that time $4.18 in interest. In total, the interest that I would have had by the end of this 60 month period, I know would have been under five or $6. So I think that's probably why it just vanished to the back of my head and I just assumed 0% interest because it didn't really matter. The last payment date is supposed to be April 26, 2022. So I am paying off my car in well over a year and a bit before I'm supposed to. There are people that are on two very different spectrums. You have people that are very, very debt adverse and I, I'm more on that side. And you have people who like to leverage debt and figure out ways to invest with it. I am not one of those people. I just want to get rid of it. I hate. I have paid off 73% of my vehicle. That's what the account says. I owe $5,092.46 and we are about to pay that off. I'm so excited right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, I'm gonna be so upset if I can't do this right now. Ugh. Call the bank, next option. You have to contact the company. Okay. And take care and stay safe. I cannot pay off my car. <laughs> I, oh, this is, but it's so easy for you to take out loans for anything. And I always find that the process to pay everything back is like such a pain in the ass. Like, <laughs> I just wanted to pay this off. My mood is like totally destroyed right now. Guys. Do we know what is happening today? So it is Monday, January 18th. I did have to wait the entire weekend to do this and it was like eating away at me, but also the satisfaction of just knowing like the money's there, it's sitting, it's ready to go. I am ready to pay off this car. I am starting 2021 off on a good note financially and it brings a lot of peace of mind and I'm very happy about it. Okay, Nissan Canada Finance. I've never paid a bill actually this large before. It's happening. it's happening. I'm never doing this again. Finish. You have successfully made your payments. It's done. I'm done. Guys, my car is paid off! Woo! <laughs> I'm so happy. Do you know what? I think my entire family is sick of me talking about, about finances, except for my grandparents. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, come on, grandma. Hello. Hi, I just paid off my car. Girl, <laughs> how much did you owe on it? Um, $5,092.46. <laughs> well, I bet you feel great, right? I feel wonderful. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> always remember that, okay? Everything you've done, you've worked for, and you've done it really well. All right, I'll let you go. I'll let Grandpa know as soon as I see him, okay? Okay. All right, love you a lot. Love you too, Graham. Bye, Bye. Bye. I love my grandparents. They're like my favorite people in the world. One more piece that I need to do for today anyways, and that is updating my final spreadsheet and then taking off the Nissan car payment debts from my total debts. New total, zero. It's zero. This year is gonna be a good year. I feel it inside me. It feels like my hard work and my sacrifices that I've had been doing for years at this point, honestly, is starting to pay off. And it's crazy because just going at it month by month, it feels like I'm making absolutely no progress. And even though I'm tracking it on here, like I can obviously see I've paid off quite a significant amount. I need to learn to start celebrating my small victories and not just brushing things off to the side. <laughs> Delete. Delete. My new debt is now $25,597.96. I can't stop smiling. Like I just keep staring at this spreadsheet that I have and staring at my budget. I've been watching these two numbers slowly come down for years, but wow. I just knocked off over five grand on my total debt and I feel great. I feel really good and I, It's just a car, it's just a car, but I did that. I'm just gonna stare at this for a little bit cause I don't feel like it's real still. Like I, I know it's real, I don't know. And so for anyone out there looking to pay off 
any type of debt, small debt, large debt, work on your debt snowball, work on paying something off, get that momentum going. And even though it might seem like a slow process at the start, celebrate your small victories. That's one thing that I wish I did a little bit more is just to celebrate the small little things. Like you are chipping away at it and one day you can just collapse on it and it'll be, it'll be done, it'll be done. And so I'm just staring at this amount here, this 25,597.96 cents that I owe to my student loans. And I'm, I'm excited to start attacking this. Like it's I'm January 20th. I officially paid off my car two days ago on January 18th. And I'm just logging back on to, to see if the payment has processed through and if I'm done. This account is closed. If you have any questions, please call us at blah, 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 blah. Thank you for leasing with us. Your file is paid off, paid off. Look at that, pay out payment, 5,092 and 46 cents. That actually processed quicker than I thought it would, so that's really great.